I'm sorry, but I can't go anywhere with you. I won't. Please, I, I must get back to my duties. Don't you dare walk away from me, you slut! Do you know who I am? <laughs> Hello? Okay. Um. Where did I want to go? Hold on. Pets. I don't really feel like doing all the pet quest things. I know that's kind of side. Search for Atticus. Ad Addie's farm for clues. Hmm. Hold on. I know we need to meet Delphine in Riverwood. Hmm. Maybe we should go meet Delphine. I feel like that would be kind of good to do. Where is she? Oh wait, I can I think I can just do that from my thing. Yeah. Map. Oh, she's here. Oh. Is she at the end? Wait, do I have stuff to sell? Hold on. Uh Oh, I think I have stuff I want to put in my Oh, I could sell these. I have stuff I want. Oh, it's closed. Wanted to put in my house. If this is your first time, <gasps> hi, Laura. Let me extend I'll a personal again. invitation for you to drag Don't out your brushes and paints and, and paint along with us each show. I think you'll enjoy it. Excuse me. Why are you, child? Get me mad, and I'll prank you. And not a little, a lot. Laura, how is nice Stardew? One. Hi, thank you for hosting. Stardew does sound so nice. It means so much to us to have the claw back where it belongs. Thank you. Oh, the sass. Thank you so much for taking care of those thieves. The Riverwood Trader is back to the way it used to be. Ah, good to see you. Take a look. It's in a book, a reading rainbow. Laura, how is Stardew? This, I know that was the sassiest turn I've ever seen. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's his. I'm not going to buy his stuff. I was like, this looks not like I'm used to. Um. Oh, I think everything I have is fine. Maybe, oh, I had the, uh, okay, we got to go put stuff away. Yeah, we're pretty good. Till next time. You work with kids, one of them gave you the flu. I'm sorry. Yeah, little kids are germy, that's for sure. Your mom and you just smoked a Mary Jane as a nightcap and the vibes here are... Hi. Casey, that sounds cozy. Papa says I'm too friendly with strangers. But you seem alright. As if Skyrim didn't have enough outsiders. Now we've got mercenaries from Hammerfell strutting about. <gasps> Dog. Hmm? Are you playing hide and seek? <laughs> yes. Get away from me. Oh. Why are kids so mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> are you playing on seeing get away from me? The Dragonborn, and I just don't know it yet. Okay. Well, you know what? I should go put the stuff in my house because I don't know where is that. Mirror watch. That's my house. I think. Yeah, maybe we should prank the kid. Oh, 
Oh, flowers. I love there's a flower named Death Bell outside of my house. Your son's in preschool and he's bringing home everything and anything as he builds his immune system, but I am immune compromised, so very bad for me. Oh, yeah, that's. Doggy? Mama, I didn't know you had a doggy. He's so cute. Could I keep him? Please? Is she talking about the goat? No, no pets ever. Oh. Wow, thanks, Mama. That <laughs> can't pet that dog. Can't I pet that dog? <laughs> okay. Um. This is the one that I've just got stuff in. I feel like I could sell the wine. I don't need the wine. Okay, hold. I think I want to display the hammer. No, 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 the axe, because it's cool. And apparently it's unique, but I'm not going to use it because now I have the hammer that's better. Um... I think I could sell these. I've got a good amount of gold. Firewood, I don't need the drum. Wait, can I? Can I, can you use any of the miscellaneous stuff? Or is it just stuff to decorate with? I work at a daycare with kids ages six to 12 years old, six weeks to 12 years old. We had a pink eye outbreak a few weeks ago. It was horrible and I got so sick from it, the worst. Oh no. Yeah, owning a pet named Dog would be funny. <laughs> Spock, that is a weird dog. Oh. <sighs> Some of it's for crafting. Uh, okay. Qu oh, this is a quest item. Uh. Okay. How many? All of these. I don't need the pelts right now. Clothes iron? Yeah, should I just get rid of all the linen wraps? I don't know if I should be selling these. The, the lantern's kind of cool. I don't need a basket. I feel like I should just sell that. Keep the lock picks. Hmm. And I guess firewood too, because I only needed the firewood to make arrows. And I think we have a decent amount of arrows. Okay. And I'll just go sell all my foods. Mama. Are you barely starting off? Uh, Davido, are you talking about like how many days I've played? Maybe I should still specify in my title that I'm on day four. Uh, this is my fourth day. So yeah, barely started. Oh, she wants attention? Oh, was it in the title? I changed it. I took it off. Does she need anything? Need something? Let's play a game? Sure. What do you want to play? Let's play tag? Hide and seek. She. Yes, my thing. Oh my god, I have to chase her outside. I'm gonna chase this child. <laughs> where the fuck is she? You can't catch me. I don't even know where you are. Where does she spawn? Is 
Is she up at the top? She's cheating. Pulls out bow and arrow. No, oh, no. Yeah, it is giving lethal ghost girl vibes. No thanks. Where? Uh, what? I can't jump. Okay, I'm quitting. I don't want to play ta ha tag anymore. Oh. Oh, that's her. You're it? Tag someone? Can I tag Lydia? Is Lydia in on this? where it went <laughs> don't mean to refer to the child as an it but i don't know where the child is our child oh she's right there need something go do your chores yeah go do your chores yes ma nice Give her a dagger? Oh. I didn't do that. Davido, I guess so. I don't know if that's like part of the DLC or whichever, but. Ooh. Papa says I'm too friendly with strangers. But you seem all right. Where is she? Be careful. Lydia, I'm so sorry. Oh, she's in here. In the inn. Ah, oh, yes. Where she works. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take I don't think you were following. Come on. I have a plan. Okay. She's got a plan. Hi, Prisma. Oh. You should think about staying the night. Lydia, please. I figured out how we're going to get you into the Thalmor Embassy. You're not coming? That didn't take long. Why not just fight our way in? You're not coming? That would be a bad idea. I'd be too likely to attract the wrong kind of attention. But they don't know you at all yet. So what's your plan? How do I infiltrate the Thalmor Embassy? The Thalmor Ambassador, Ellen Wen, regularly throws parties where the rich and connected cozy up to the Thalmor. Parties? I can get you into one of those parties. Once you're inside the Embassy, you can get away and find Ellen Wen's secret files. I have a contact inside the Embassy. He's not up for this kind of high-risk mission, but he can help you. His name is Malborn. Wood Elf. Plenty of reason to hate the Thalmor. You can trust him. I'll get word for him to meet you in solitude at the Winking Skeever. You know it? While no. you're doing that, I'll work on getting you an invitation to Ellen Wynn's little party. Meet me at the Solitude Stables after you've arranged things with Malborn. Any questions? You guys want to go to a party? This quest was tough for you? Who's this contact of yours? You sure you, I, you're sure I can trust him? Don't worry about Malborn. He's not a dangerous character like you. But he hates the Thalmor at least as much as I like do. Like me? He's a wood elf. The Thalmor wiped out his family back in Valenwood during one of their purges that we never hear about. Oh. Luckily, they don't know who he really is, or he wouldn't be serving drinks at the ambassador's parties. How am I going to get into this party? Let me handle that. You'll have a real invitation, don't worry. As long as you can act the part of a Thalmor toady, you'll get past the guards. Once I'm inside the embassy, then what? That's when the fun starts. Oh. You'll have to slip away from the party without raising the alarm. Oh. 
Then you'll need to find Ellen Wynn's office and search her files. Oh. Melbourne should be able to point you in the right direction. Oh. I'll see you in solitude after I meet Melbourne. Sounds good. Be careful. <laughs> this sounds intense. Lydia. Oh. Move. <laughs> Please. Where's the guy I was going to sell food to? We got rooms and food. Dr drink for the thirsty, food, food for, the, for hungry. the hungry. Okay. Mm. I want to sell the potatoes to the other person. Okay, 188 is not terrible. Yeah, what armor does one wear to a party? Yeah, I wonder. Cheese, though? Like, keep all of it? I've heard keep the wheels. Because they were a store 15. Habba dabba da. Okay. Until next time. Uh, thanks. Oh, baby. Moscow, huh? Okay. Well. Are we going to this party, I suppose? <gasps> Solitude. Okay. Moscow's on to something? Oh, I think I need to adjust the regular uh, brightness now. Is that really bright or maybe I'm just silly? Whoa! Don't kill the horse. Going to enjoy killing you. Whoa, no you won't. You think it looks fine? I think so too. It's only because I was looking at I, I, I was looking at something. Excuse me. <gasps> Ooh! Oh, that water looks nice. I can cast heal on my horse. Ooh! How do I do that? Oh, I was going to display that. <gasps> Ew, spiders. Yuck. Oh, fucking great. Who are these guys? Oh no. She's sick though. Ow, 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 ow! Are you okay? Oh. They explode! Why is she kind of. That's what I was thinking. Fire salts. I should eat that. Wait, no. Oh, I'm basically giving her that. No, no, no. I need to go into my items. <laughs> Fire salts. Okay. <laughs> you love this song that's playing? That's pretty. Okay, um, I might just leave my horse behind. 
the tomato command? But not on my watch? I know I'm W, I think. Mm, yes. Oh, wow. What is this? <gasps> oh, is that where we need... That might be where we need to be going. Yeah, that's the one. Oh, healing hands? I I guess that's not the one I'm, I usually use then. You've been putting a lot of Skyrim Ambience videos for when I need focus on work. I think, like, nostalgic music does that. I used to put on, like, WoW background music, too. Mora Tapanella. Oh, I've already tried this. I wonder what it did. Am I just meant to swim over there? I feel like I can't trust this water. Is there any baddies in it? We're swimming. There's one for self and one for healing others. I think it is called healing hands. Okay. Noted. Oh, can I loot these? Oh. This is hard to deal with. Garlic. Oh, I'm drowning. Oh my god, they gargle? That's... That's something. There's nothing for you in the warehouse. So why don't you take a walk? Oh. What is this place? This is the East Empire Company's central warehouse. All of their shipments go through here. Unfortunately, thanks to some problems they've been having, it hasn't seen much use lately. Mm -hmm. Either way, it's off limits to you. What kind of problems is the East Empire Company How having? How should I know? I don't work for them. If you want to help, I suppose you could head to Windelm and talk to Orthus and Dario. He's in charge over there. Talk to Orthus and Dario at the East Empire Company in Windhelm. Mm -hmm. We- we're not even- oh, we're not at the right spot. I just started a side quest, I guess. Prisma, thank you. Have a good lurk. Yeah, like, imagine a shark just comes out of nowhere. Oh. I think that's the, the stuff that would have been rhubarb. Kind of looks a little bit like carpet, but... Who's this? Victoria? Victoria. Hmm? Sorry, I was lost in thought. I'm planning my wedding this evening. So many details to work out. Details. We're down by the docks for solitude? Oh, so I need to go... <gasps> oh. It's not above? Catalyst Farm. I think Lydia might have died, but I mean, I think we just have to respawn or re re reload. Hey, watch it! Sorry. We got the right road. Okay. If you've come to solitude to join. What? You're just in time to say hello to Rockbeard. 
How do I join the Imperial Legion? There's no greater honor than to serve. If you're serious about enlisting, speak to Legate Rika in Castle Dower. Mmm, who's Rogvir? There's no greater honor than to serve. If you're serious about That's enlisting, speak said. to Legate Rika. He's a sorry bastard who's going to be executed. Oh. A gate guard who left Ulfric Stormcloak escaped the city. Oh. Ulfric killed the High King. Oh. My father was all the family I ever had. I felt so lost when he died. But the crew of the Red Waves, my family now. Okay. I once captained a ship called the Argent Raptor. She struck an iceberg and went down just north of Windhelm. She went down. Yeah, Pickle, I think that like whenever we just read because she might she might spawn right now. Oh, Spock, really? Did he turn Uncle Rog here? Tell them he didn't do it. Position. Far you need to go home. Go home and stay there until your mother comes. Tell your to what now? All the kids look the same. No offense. You should tell her that her uncle is scum that betrayed his high king. Best she know now, Athar. Oh. They're all heart, Billy. Rog there. You helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Tori. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He doesn't deserve to speak! There was no murder. Lion! Story. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all Nords. Are we about to witness something? Day, I go to Sovngarde. Somebody help! What did I do? <gasps> Girls. I got too close? They didn't tell me to, like, step off? I'm gonna deal with just a cheeky little. <clears throat> they can't turn Uncle Rob what? I can't be on stage during an execution? Position. Why not? Or you need to go home. Go home and stay there until your mother comes. God forbid! I just wanted to check it out. I I just wanted to see how how far I could push the buttons. I won't go up there anymore. I didn't know. Position. I could have tried to escape. That's true. Ooh. Go home. Might go home and stay there until your mother comes. <gasps> oh, who's this? Wait, hello. Oh, Lizette. You should tell her that her uncle is Wait, no, like, hello. His high king. Sorry. Best I need to pay attention now. so I can remember this. Bro, she looks like me. Rogvir, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city. Sorry. I need to pay attention so I can remember this. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you oh betrayed God. the people of Solitude. He doesn't deserve to speak! There was no murder. Lion! Story. He beat the High King in fair I should combat. Stop that. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim. <laughs> Being <all Norse. laughs> Oh my god. Damn. <laughs> On this day. I go to Sovngarde. Oh. So, so, uh, Now we can go up. <laughs> Ooh, 
You wouldn't be a sellsword, would you? I have a little problem you could solve. Hi. Need something? Yes. <laughs> Mind yourself in my city, lass. This here axe in full swing is a right Ooh. terrible sight. Mel, I will not be reading that sentence out loud. The Winking Skeever. Welcome to the Winking Skeever. <laughs> Take a load off and enjoy the atmosphere. Take a load off? Whoa! <gasps> Hi. You're passing through solitude? Maybe you're looking to make some easy gold, yes? What did you have in mind? It's easy to find things to sell. Things nobody will miss. Things from underground or just left lying around in someone's house. I bet the two of us were very alike. So why not take the next step? We can help each other. My sister Deja and I are treasure hunters. We like to collect things. Man's a thief. I'm no thief. I'm listening. I knew you looked like a clever one. With the war, many more ships come through these docks, loaded with weapons and pay, but few people, and they pass through dangerous waters. We have an interest in one of those boats, the Ice Runner. The Solitude Lighthouse will be guiding it in, mm. but if its fire were to go out, the Ice Runner would run aground. That's a cool name for a ship. Lizard and cat. Match made in heaven. Yeah. Together we are... Um... Lat isn't really cool. Kazat? Kazat's a cooler sounding name. Argonian is the name of the race. Mm. This is... Yeah, this is an Argonian. Clizzard. You want me to put out the lighthouse fire? What an interesting idea. I think if someone were to do something like that, there would definitely be a certain amount of loot to be shared. Yes, if someone were to put out the lighthouse fire and then meet me on the docks afterwards, I could certainly direct them to that loot. This guy is so... Mm. Setting up a wreck, I should turn you into the guards. What would happen to sailors on the boat? Oh. Don't worry about them. We'll make sure they wash up safe. Maybe they'll even pay us for the heroic rescue from their sad crash. It would be best if we spoke little until you've completed your task. Is he is he a wise he kinda or like I don't know I'm conflicted. Oh. <laughs> I smash. Bessie, he's a lizard. I I, I know. <gasps> oh. Gloomy. <gasps> it's me. This is me on the ocarina. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because I mean, if that lizard came up to me and he had fucking, you know, Disney's Goofy as a voice actor, no offense to the guy who voices Goofy. What happened to his cake? What did he do to that? You know what I regret, but also not? I left all my cake I made at my dad's, and now I can't have leftover cake. But it's because the last time I made the cake, I just had all the leftovers and I didn't need them. Oh, what's going on with the sweet roll? So now I want a piece of cake, but I can't have a piece of cake. Oh. Oh, it's Malborn.
I'm not going to take anything, but it's interesting to see what they got, you know? Need something? Our mutual friend sent me. Really? You're who she picked? I hope she knows what she's doing. What the fuck does that mean? Here's the deal. I can smuggle some equipment into the embassy for you. Okay. Don't plan on bringing anything else in with you. The Thalmor takes security very seriously. Give me what you can't live without, and I'll make sure to get it into the embassy. The rest is up to you. What kind of thing should I bring? Is, is he talking about weapons? You're asking me? She promised that she was sending someone who knew what they were doing. If you actually want to get out alive, I'd bring whatever you need to move quietly and kill quickly. Okay, so just weapons, right? So basically my bow and arrows, I suppose? Maybe a dagger? Maybe a weapon? I think I'm ready. Okay, I'll get this inside the embassy for you. I've got to go. I'll find you at the party. Don't worry. Um, so that, that, my arrows. All of them? And then do I need to go drop up every, everything else? Or do I go and empty? Like, do I have to throw all this stuff away? Just everything? No. You won't have anything else until you leave. Don't forget my bow. I, I did a bow. This is a, just a second bow I have, I think. Yeah, the, I have the Imperial bow. I have an extra backpack. Any weapons you don't give him will be stored in a chest in Riverwood. Okay, cool. So. He's got that stuff now, right? Can I buy? I need to, I'm going to sell some stuff. I don't think this guy's going to. Next gonna... time, you might want to get dressed before leaving the house. Okay, I just gave my armor to the guy. You Take can't just look. joke that I'm naked. Jesus. Uh, <sighs> Remember, the winking skeever next time your foot's sore. Oh, shit. What does she say? Feel free to make requests. What's the word around town? Generally, if you want rumors, you should talk to Corpulus. That said, I did see a visitor pass through on his way to the Blue Palace. She just disappeared. Does it be in a barred paywall? Uh, no, but being surrounded by good music, good drink, and good friends is all I've ever asked for. So you're a member of the Bard's College? Only in that I'm a graduate. I work here at the Winking Skeever. I would highly recommend it, though. Talk to Viarmo if you're interested. You should think about staying the night. Corpulus keeps it clean. <laughs> I look interesting. Put some clothes on, we can see your winking skeever. Okay, I don't think there's anything else I need to do in here. Look at my I'm in my I'm some whitey tidies right now. Okay, I should probably continue on with this quest or I'm not gonna get any of my shit back. <gasps> Does she sing? This is a yeah, cat in a diaper. She's not singing. That makes three. Oh my god. 
We got full grippers out. Okay. I'm ready. I itch bold Spock. We need to not make itch bull a thing. There's no way. Oh. Wait. We're kind of cute. I look like I'm in Cats, 1998. Wait. Wait, is this the next one I need to do? Lights out? Or do I go to Delphine? Because I'm naked. I have nothing. I think it's this one, right? The put the fire out? The one where you gave Malborn your stuff is the diplomatic immunity. Yeah, I think we want to do... Oh. Okay. Meet Delphine at the stables. Oh, I'm literally here. I just need to go down here. Okay. My feet sound so floppy. Oh, there she is. Hello? Hello? Why are they hurting each other? Who's hurting each other? Someone do something. Do what? I'm not afraid of you. Who are they talking about? Hello? Come on, what are you waiting for? Is it bugs? Yeah, maybe I time skip a little bit. Oh. Can you give him now, Born, the gear you want to smuggle into the embassy? Yes, I have. Malborn's all set. Good. I have your invitation to the party. Yes, we got an invite. But the only way you're going to get past the guards is if they really believe you're an invited guest. Which means you need to look the part and not be armed to the teeth. Here, put this on. When you're ready. Party clothes! Your gear safe until you get back. Oh, I'm so excited You'll to see what this looks like. Malborn smuggled in for you, plus whatever you can pick up inside. Wow. Julia, look at the freeze up. Hold on, I gotta change the time of day so I can fit check. Seven? Six? Six thirty? Yeah. You can't go to a party at the Thalmor Embassy dressed like that. Dressed like what? What do you mean? <laughs> I've seen girls wear this to a party before. You can't go to a party at the Thalmor Embassy dressed like that. Okay, I'm gonna change. Alright, what's our party clothes? Oh. I guess that will have to do. You should pass for a real guest, at least until you open your mouth. Ready to board the carriage to the embassy? Until I open my mouth. I'm ready. I guess that will have to do. You should pass for a real guest, at least until you open your mouth. Ready to board the carriage to the embassy? I'm ready. Keep the rest of my things safe for me. Don't worry. It will all be waiting for you when you get back. 
Just make sure you get back out of there alive with the information you need. Okay. Good luck. Thanks. Oh, we're going. We're getting in. It's happening. Late summer. And arriving by carriage, no less. I salute you, my lady. My lateness is due more to getting lost on the way up this god's forsaken mountain than any desire to actually arrive late. I prefer Is there a specific sound setting for dialogue? I prefer to arrive early, often the day before the party, so as not to miss out on the drinking. They just sound kind of quiet. There's not enough drinking in the world today. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, not enough people are drinking water. I just need to rest. I will just rest here a moment. Although it is damnably cold out of here, I don't look forward to the trip back down. Okay. Oh, who's this? Welcome to the Thalmor Embassy. Your invitation, please. Yeah, here's my invitation. Here you go. Show invitation. There a problem? Just a minute. I think I left it on the cart. Of course. Just bring it to me when you find it. Perhaps we might share. Did I need to bring anything the from the party? cart? I know, I know. No. Just met, but think, by the time the party is over, your we'll invitation, no please. Break. I look forward to it. Thank you, ma'am. Go right in. Oh, it worked. Now then, here's my invitation. I don't have a poison dagger strapped to my thigh, etc., etc. I'm just doing my duty, sir. Everything's in order. Welcome back, sir. Yes, yes. Now, to find myself a drink. Wait, but she doesn't have an invitation. Go right on oh, I can't even crouch right now. Started. Guests are advised to remain inside the embassy. Hold on, she had more dialogue, I think. Go right on in. The party has already started. Oh, it was like, is there a problem? And maybe that was about the invitation. Please proceed into the embassy. Are you guys ready to go to the embassy? I'm excited. What kind of party are we talking about? Oh. Welcome. I don't believe we've met. No. I am Ellenwyn, the Thalmor ambassador to Skyrim. And you are? <laughs> my name is Cat. Dot dot. Pleased to meet you. Quite a party. It's my first time, you know. Where can I get a drink? You're Elwyn. I've heard so much about you. Cat. I love how we have a period in our name, so it looks like it's like my name is Cat. Dot. Ah yes, I remember your name from the guest list. Please Madam tell me more about yourself. So what brings you to this, <laughs> to Skyrim? What is it, Malborn? It's just that we've run out of the Alto wine. Do I have your permission to uncork the Arinthia Red? Of course. I've told you before not to bother me with such trifles. <laughs> yes, Madam Ambassador. My apologies. We'll have to get better acquainted later. Please, enjoy yourself. It's later. I'm so glad you could attend today. Uh, do you host these parties often? Quite often, yes. The only thing I enjoy more than luxury is sharing that luxury with those who can appreciate it. But I also enjoy learning the latest gossip and hearing the most intriguing rumors. I can see you spared no expense. Of course not. One does not gather the most important men and women of Skyrim and then serve them cheap ale and stale bread. This is only a taste of the benefits that accrue to those that align themselves with Thalmor interests. What does your position at Thalmor ambassador, ambassador involve? One of my main duties is to foster a better understanding between the Aldmeri Dominion and the people of Skyrim. I also oversee the activities of the Thalmor Justicias throughout Skyrim, mm -hmm. although this has been most unfortunately disrupted by the war. Mm, I've never quite understood exactly what the justice what they do. The Thalmor Justiciers are so misunderstood. Our primary goal 
is to preserve the peace between the Empire and the Aldmeri Dominion. The worship of the false god Talos contributed to the unfortunate friction that led to the Great War. Following the Great War, the White Gold Concordat set out the terms for peaceful coexistence between the two powers. The Empire and the Dominion agreed that the worship of Talos was a relic of the past and must be eliminated in the interests of peace. But I'm sure mm -hmm. you didn't come here for a lecture on high politics. Oh no, that's 100% why I'm here. Do enjoy yourself. What can I get for you, ma'am? I'd like a drink. Here you go, ma'am. The finest Colovian brandy. Is there anything else I can get for you? Farewell. I like how there's an option that just says I'm ready. I gotta have, I gotta have the drink. You cannot eat quest items. What the? I find these parties such a dreadful bore. Do you want help with something? What? Oh, something interesting, I hope. I need you to cause a scene, get everyone's attention for a few minutes. Oh. Come and visit me in solitude sometime. Wait, can I ask any of them to cause what a scene? What does a fellow need to do to get a drink around here? Uh, if you would like a drink, there's literally the bar right there. I don't recall seeing you at one of these before, and I know everyone who's anyone in Skyrim. What brings you to this party? To maintain relationships. <laughs> By the way, I don't know who you are, but unless you want me to blow your cover, I advise that you avoid me for the rest of the party. What's your relationship with the Thalmor? We have a relationship of mutual respect. I care little about the politics and rivalries between the Thalmor and the Empire. But I do respect power, and the Thalmor have that. They leave me alone, and I leave them alone. Until next time. The Great War is long past. It's time the Empire and the Aldmeri Dominion put aside their differences. Prosperity Metabolic JT, welcome everyone. in. Um, hello? Ellen Wen always throws quite a party. I never miss one if I can help it. What brings you to this party? You selling quite the businessman. You must be new to Skyrim or you'd already know who I am. I have a stake in most anything of importance in solitude. Mm. I feel that it's time to put aside the grievances of He's the so past. He's so loud. And let peace and prosperity flourish. Between the Empire and the Aldmeri Dominion. I try to do my little part. Besides, just between you and me, it's making me pots of money. <laughs> it's a good laugh. But not every Nord is obsessed with strength, honor, and skill at arms. A rare few are born with a gift for making money. My investments are my strength, and my wealth is my weapon. As for honor, well, there are some luxuries even I can't afford. Very well, then. There's a likely-looking filly, even if she is an elf. What? You there, serving girl. What's your name, dear? Ew. Ah, oh, Braylor, sir. Do you need a drink? Something to eat? No, no, that's not what I'm interested in right now. I just wanted to get a better look at you. I like what I see, my dear. And believe me, I don't say that to everyone. I'm very discriminating when it comes to the female form. Ah, thank you, sir. Was there anything else I could do for you? Oh, not at the moment. Maybe later. Don't go far. Yes, sir. One thing everyone can agree on. This Ayo. war is bad for business. Are you okay? I hope you're enjoying yourself, ma'am. With the storm cloaks. And what about you? I've spent See many ya. hours in council meetings lately grappling with that problem. These are troubling times indeed. See that disgusting drunk over there? A high-ranking official in the East Empire Company, believe it or not. Until the degeneracy of the Empire is on display here in this room. None of these people cares a whit about the religious aspects of this war. 
Another sign of the degeneracy of your empire. No matter how harsh the winter, the crops that grow there never fall. There are those in the empire who would wish to evade their obligations to help root out the Talos heresy. Yeah, he's gross. Not this guy. Or maybe. Those most opposed to the emperor's wise policy have now branded themselves traitors as well as heretics. I am here to remind the ruling classes of Skyrim that their loyalty to the emperor requires cooperation with the Thogmore. All right then. To your liking. Everything is splendid. Thank you. Where's the? Oh, this fuck. Corn, you have. Did you see that serving girl? Mm -hmm. I hear elf was insatiable. Ew. Maybe I can talk to her for you, see if she's interested. Really? Yes, maybe that would be just the thing. She seemed to be playing hard to get when I spoke to her earlier. Go on. See what she says. Now you've gone and gotten my hopes up. Ew! After all, Eolin works the sky for Have you talked to Braylus yet? I'm not a patient man, you know. Oh, and now he's angry? Have you found it difficult to Ha! Don't toy with me. I may just have to seize my opportunity with both hands. <laughs> ah, but we'll play it your way for now. These are troubling times. Ew! Who wrote him? I hope you're enjoying yourself, ma'am. That fellow over there asked me to talk to you. Oh, Erica, right? He was talking to me earlier. I could tell what he was after. I hate working these parties. Some of the guests are nice, but there's always a few like Erica. Please tell him to leave me alone, politely. I'm sure you'll have better luck getting through to him than I would. Until Good. next time. Good for her. Where did he go? Have you talked to Braylus yet? I'm not a patient man, you know. <laughs> Burn the place down. Uh, yeah, she said she can sneak you up to her quarters right now. Oh, she wants you to leave her alone. What the fuck? Why would I lie? I'm gonna say she wants to leave. Oh, this, he's not gonna like this. What? That little tease. Leading me on and turning cold at the last minute. I don't think so. I'm sorry. Oh, you think you can toy well with me? Is that it? Frailia no, my dear. I have my heart. That the Battleborns have abducted one of her sons. Now, where oh, this is so gross. Privacy. Kill him. No, I'm sorry, but I can't go anywhere with you. I won't. Please, I must get back to my duties. Don't you dare walk away from me, you slut. Do you know who I am? Please, sir, leave me alone. Now you're going to be sorry you crossed me. Ellen Wen, this servant girl has been throwing herself at me in a most disgusting manner. Is that so, Erica? And you with such delicate sensibilities. It must have been most upsetting. I demand that you have this wench removed from my presence at once. Well, whatever the truth of it, I'm sure a few words with Master Rolinda will have a salutary effect. Take her downstairs. No. Yes, Madam Ambassador. Mistress Ellenwyn, it's not true. I did nothing. Sir, you must tell her. You don't know what they'll do to me. Please. I know. We're not supposed to talk to the guests. What did you tell him? Why did you do this to me? Oh, so it's my fault? Uh, what did you tell him? Why did you do this to me? I hope you're enjoying yourself. Do enjoy yourself. Ellen Wen always throws quite a party. I never miss one if I can help it. Okay. Well, I'm glad that little unpleasantness is over. Let's go. Let's go. Before anyone notices us. Are you coming? I heard Ellen say she's going to open a oh my god, the door's wide open. Oh, I'm getting framed. I'm getting actually trolled. Are you going? Well, I did see something interesting not long ago. There were several Kashyyyk. What can I get for you, man? Of course. Let me see if we have another bottle of that. I'll be waiting by the door for everyone to be distracted. Something like that with dragons on the loose and a war going on. What? We've got our hands full dealing with the storm cloaks. 
So I need to make someone cause a scene? If your eyes and your ears are open, and your mind is free of judgment and expectation, you might learn much in this chamber. Fair faces and fine food are well and good, but honesty is rarely so pleasing. May wisdom light your path. There was a girl that the option was to make a scene, but... I couldn't have said it better myself. It's been some time since I've had news from I don't know if Sky. that can still work. What have you heard? Well, there Isn't might be something. To it, Ellie heard really heard knows how to host a party. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the door. Ellen's parties are always so elegant. She really has impeccable taste. My only regret is that she doesn't host them more often. She's it was a pleasure. literally right Thank there. You. Are you enjoying the party? As much as can be expected, yes. What can I get for you, ma'am? Splendid. We seem to have run out of Colobian brandy. I'll check in the wine cellar for more when I get a moment. Roast venison and a bit of green sauce. Farewell. Last one. That was delicious. I couldn't agree more. By the way, have you heard any interesting rumors lately? Now that I think of it, I did hear something rather interesting the other day. Apparently, the red wave has been docked in solitude for well over a month. I'm assuming and we need to have someone make a scene? Anytime soon. One thing everyone so can agree on. Oh, is this girl? This war is bad for business. And Captain the East Empire Company has interests all across Tamriel, inside and outside the Empire's Captain borders. We try not. However, as the head of the company, it's my job to make sure we maintain good relationships with prospective partners and investors. Oh, well, there's more dialogue. Does your company do business with Thalmor? A delicate question, to be sure. I'm the Emperor's cousin, and the Empire has little love for the Thalmor. The On the other hand, the Thalmor have considerable funds and are looking to expand their shipping. Are you I haven't signed any deals yet, Everything but I'm sure my cousin would want to cut if I do. What better way to soothe his wounded pride? Well, I also didn't choose for her to make a scene, and so maybe that Come just kind of canceled it. Sometime. Should I reload it? If I reload it, that girl gets saved too, lol. I'm so glad you could attend today. On because it didn't I unlock anything. Say she's going to open a bottle of her best fire mm. brand wine. Oh, oh yep. Hardly wait. I couldn't agree There's more. still an option or two? By the way, have you heard any interesting rumors lately? Mm. Well, there might be nothing to it, but I've heard that the feud between the Grey Manes and the Battleborns and White Run. I kind of want to see what make a scene would have been. Is Not gonna lie. Have one of her sons. Like, I want some acting. You know what I mean? Is my staff seeing to your needs? Every the hospitality of the Thalmor Embassy, excellent. Yeah, Come maybe. Do enjoy. Oh, just talk to this guy? What does a fellow need to do to get a drink around here? I brought you a drink. Ah, the one generous soul amongst a gathering of pinch pennies and lick spittles. If there's anything I can ever do for you, do not hesitate to call upon me. Oh, so I ask him to cause a scene? Oh. Wonderful. I can begin to repay your generosity immediately. Say on, friend. I need you to cause this scene, get everyone's attention for a few minutes. Is that all? My friend, you've come to the right person. You could say that causing a scene is somewhat of a specialty of mine. There's... Stand back and behold my handiwork. Oh, God. That was delicious. Attention, everyone. Could I have your attention, please? I have an announcement to make. I propose a toast to Ellen Wynn, our that? mistress. I do? speak figuratively, of course. Uh, Nothing could be more oh. unlikely than that someone would actually Let's want go. her Let's in go. their bed. Before anyone notices us. Although, I thought it was going to be, like... Yeah, imagine he just pulls his pants down and just takes a poop. Get your hands off me. I'll be a good so far, so good. Let's hope nobody saw us slip out. We need to pass through the kitchen. Your gear is hidden in the larder. 
Okay. Just stay close and let me do any talking. Got okay, it? Okay, yeah. Follow me. Okay. What's a larder? Oh, there's a pussy in here. That was Who comes, Malvern? You know I don't like strange smells in my kitchen. A guest feeling ill. Leave the poor wretch be. A guest? In the kitchens? You know this is against the rules. Rules, is it, Zabani? I didn't realize that eating moon sugar was permitted. Oh. Perhaps I should ask the ambassador. Get out of here. I saw nothing. Your gear is in that chest. Yes. Okay. Oh, I'm putting all of it back. I am. I am. I am. I'll lock the door behind you. Don't screw this up. Oh, I don't I won't. Okay. Hurry it up. I've got to get back before I missed. Quick save. Super smart. We've got our hands full. I need to lock the door behind you, or the patrols might notice something's wrong. Okay. I've spent many hours in council meetings lately grappling with. Oh, so do I go? If any luck, a worthy hero would step forward. Solve She's got nothing. Problems, just like in the I need to lock the door behind you, or the patrols might notice something's wrong. Is the food and drink for your night? I have enough. Oh, this way I'm good. I need to lock the door behind you, or the patrols might. Good Did luck. you see those robes You're on your own this morning? Who are they with? More of the emissaries' treaty enforcers? No, they're high mages just in from Alador. I guess so. Help is finally. Okay. Getting worried about all the dragon attacks. So, um. Ah, good. I've been wondering how we were supposed to defend this place from a dragon. If a dragon does show up, maybe we'll get lucky. And Let me just make sure I'm doing the right next step. Search for information about the dragons returning. Okay, it seems that things are worse than uh, even Delphine thought. Dragons aren't just coming back to life. They're being resurrected by other dragons. Delphine suspects that the Thalmor might be bringing dragons back for some sinister purpose. Her contact, Malburn, smuggled some of my equipment into Thalmor's, uh, Thalmor Ambassador's Manor. That's where we are. That's what we just got. I infiltrated the manor, posing as a guest at the Ambassador's party. Now I need to search the Ambassador's office to find out what the Thalmor know about the dragons. So we need to get to his office. Give us enough time to kill it. Like Let me do a cheeky little quick save, even though I just did one, and let's walk through here. <laughs> Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna redo that. I'm redoing it. <laughs> well, we better get back to our rounds. Wait, Aaron, who? You? How do I zoom in again? What was that? Huh? Hello? Who's there? You are but a dog and I no, don't do that. Butthole shot.
I feel like I need to. I want to learn how to sneak with with the daggers. Do I have? Did I have that before? I feel like that would be good. I guess I could use that for number two. Oh, that's to get out of that. Okay, hold. Hold. I guess I could favorite the dagger. Um, I'll make that too. And then the, I don't know. Am I going to use that accent? Actually, wait. This isn't the one that I wanted to even have. Okay, we'll just leave that out. Hi, Moonflower. Hello. Oh my god. I look like a killer in DVD when I walk like this. Hmm. Potato. Would be cool if you can assassinate. Like, just... Oh. Are we taking that? Oh. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I killed the bread. How is the Skyrim playthrough going, guys? I missed the last couple. It's going really well. I'm still learning a little bit, especially with how I want to do, like, sneaking and stuff. But it's really good. Okay, hold on. Oh, this is, like... Oops, that's not what I wanted. <gasps> Ooh, a soul gem. It looks like I need to be downstairs, but it looks like there's some good loot. Up here, maybe? Ooh. For a collar, that's actually kind of cool. My character, I think I'm level nine. I don't think I've reached level 10 yet. The cake and the diamond. Do I want to read all this? Hmm. A roll of paper. That's a good one. This book. I'm assuming that there is at least one cake and one diamond. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Do you have a specific character class you want to develop or is this a go with the flow type of playthrough? Um, I know, well, I'm a Khajiit, and I know I was going to be more of, like, a roguelike type character. I was going to do putting points mostly into, like, sneak and archery. But, yeah, I don't know. Do you guys want to read a little story about a cake and a diamond? Player, <laughs> give us some LOZ soundtrack. Yeah, give me some Zelda tunes. Sounds pretty close to the ocarina. Yeah, Stealth Archer. Yeah, those are fun to play. I also, I mean, mages would have been cool too. I think being like a ranged, uh, like magic focused mage would be good. You missed the Gilder Green quest because I fell asleep. Just gonna watch the VOD tomorrow. Which one was that? We didn't do that today. We must have done that two days ago. I know I usually do like strength bills in Bloodborne, but if there's an option to play sneaky and use a bow, that's pretty fun. Oh, the tree quest. Yeah, that one was good. 
Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Okay, gather around. We're going to read a story. I was in the Rat and the Pot, a foreigner corner club in Aldrin, in Aldrin, talking to my fellow rats when I first saw the woman. Now, Breton, Breton women, Breton, Breton women, are fairly common in the Rat and the Pot. As a breed, they seem inclined to wander far from their perches in High Rock. Old Breton women, however, are not so mi migratory, and they, uh, when the wise and old Biddy drew attention to herself wandering about the room talking to everyone. Nimloth and Odiad were at their usual places drinking their usual stuff. Odiad was showing off a prize he had picked up in some illicit manner, a colossal diamond, large as a baby's hand, and clear as spring water. I was admiring it when I heard the creaking of old bones behind me. Good day to you, friends, said an old woman. My name is Abel Credit, 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 and I'm in need of financial assistance to facilitate my transportation to Aldradania. You'll want to see the temple for charity, said Nimloth curtly. I'm not looking for charity, said Ab Abel. I'm looking to barter services. Don't make me sick, old woman, laughed Odiad. Did you say your name was Abel Credit? I asked. Are you related to Abel Credit, the High Rock alchemist? closely related she said with a cackle we are the same person perhaps i could prepare you a potion in exchange for gold i notice that you have in your possession a very fine diamond the magical qualities of diamonds are boundless sorry old woman i can't give it up for magic it was trouble enough stealing this one said odiad i've got a fence who will trade it for gold but your fence will demand a certain percentage will he not what if I could give you a potion of invisibility in exchange? In return for that diamond, you could have the means to steal many more. A very fair exchange of service, I would say. It would be, but I have no gold to give you, said Odiad. I'll take what remains of the diamond after I've made the potion, said Abel. If you took it to the Mage's Guild, you'd have to supply all the other ingredients and pay for it as well. But I learned my craft in the wild, where no potion makers existed to dissolve diamonds into dust. When you must do it all by hand, by simple skill, you are blessed with remnants those fool potion makers at guild, uh, at the guild simply swallow up. That sounds all very nice, said Nimloth. But how do we know your potion is going to work? If you make one potion, take the rest of the Odiad, Odiad's diamond and leave, we won't know until you've gone whether the potion works or not. Ah, trust is so rare these days, sighed Abel. I suppose I could make two potions for you, and there'd still be a little bit of diamond left for me. Not a lot, but perhaps enough to get me to Aldredania. Then you could try the first potion right here now and see if you're satisfied or not. But, I interjected, you could make one potion that works and one that doesn't and take more of the diamond. She could even give you a slow-acting poison by the time she got to... Ald Redania, you'd be dead. Bleeding, Kenareth, you Dunmer are suspicious. I will hardly have any diamond left, but I could make two potions of two doses each so you can satisfy yourself that the potion works and has no negative effects. If you still don't trust me, come along with me to my table and witness my craft if you'd like. So it was decided that I would accompany Abel back to her table where she had all her traveling bags full of herbs and minerals to make a certain that she would not be making two different potions. It took nearly an hour of preparation, but she kindly allowed me to finish her half-filled fla flagon of wine while I watched her work. This is some story time. Alex, hi! Splintering the diamond and powdering the pieces required to, uh, the bulk of the time, over and over again, she waved her gnarled hands over the gem, intoning ancient enchantments, breaking the facets of the stone into smaller and smaller pieces, separating. She made pastes of minced bitter green, crushed red bulbs, and delarco spay, and driblets of Siciliani oil. I finished the wine. Old woman, I finally said with a sigh, how much longer is this going to take? I'm getting tired of watching you work. The major skill has, had fool, uh, has fooled the popul populace into thinking alchemy is a science, she said. But if you're tired, rest your eyes. Uh-oh. My eyes closed, seemingly of their own volition. 
But there had been something in that wine, something that made me do what she asked. I think I'll make up the potionous cakes. It's much more potent that way. Now, tell me, young man, what will your friends do once I give them the potion? Mug you in the street afterwards to retrieve the rest of the diamond, I said simply. I didn't want to tell the truth, but there it was. Ooh. I thought so, but I wanted to be certain. You may open your eyes now. I opened my eyes. A bell had made a small po uh, presentation on a wooden platter. Two small cakes and a silver cutting knife. Pick up the cakes and bring them to the table, said the bell. And don't say anything except to agree with whatever I say. I did as I was told. It was a curious sensation. I didn't really mind being her puppet, of course. In retrospect, I resent it. But it seemed perfectly natural at the time to obey without question. Damn. <laughs> Aaron... A bell handed the cakes to Odia, and I dutifully verified that both cakes were made the same way. She suggested that he cut one of the cakes in half, and she would take one piece, and he'd take the other. Just so he would know that they worked and weren't poison. Odia thought it was a good idea, and used a bell's knife to cut the cake. A bell took the piece on the left and popped it in her mouth. Odia took a piece on the right and swallowed it more cautiously. A bell, hand, a bell and all the bags she was carrying vanished from sight almost instantly. Nothing happened to Odiad. Why did it work for the witch and not for me, cried Odiad. Because the diamond dust was only on the left-hand side of the blade, said the old alchemist through me. I felt her control lessening as the distance grew and she hurried invisibly down the dark Aldrun street away from the rat in the pot. We never found the bell, Credit, or the diamond. Whether she completed her pr uh, pilgrimage to Aldradania is anyone's guess. The cake had no effect except to give Odiad a, ba a bad case of droops that lasted for nearly a week. What a story. What are droops? What's droops? Me mum's a bear. Hi, Laura. Hi, Mixed also. The Hershey squirts. Diarrhea. Oh, it's like an intense laxative. Yeah, man's gonna be on the, the toilet for a bit. Tell me not the Hershey squirts. Hi, Scatel. I can't believe we just read a big story about an old woman giving someone the icky poops. Icky poopy. I thought it was just my dad that called it Hershey Squirts. I'm sobbing. Yeah, I, that, the same, except my mother. Don't say pudding squeeze. I don't have a key. Wait, where's the other guy I killed? Maybe there's a key on that body. Wait. You got a key? No. My mom calls farting a barking spider. <sighs> Why? Hey, Max. Yeah, it's my first time playing. Bumwees? What? What? I didn't know! Did they follow me inside? Have I read the spicy book? I don't think so. Where is it?
good lord. Oh, L. L. What the fuck? Oh, this is such. Oh, no. No, 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 no. It's okay. There's smut in this game? I don't know. I think I need to eat some cheese. Wait, no. Oh. Oh. Oh, a fork, thank God. How did he wait i didn't kill him did i y'all do it you just take it up the you know what and just shoot your arrows uh oh we've done it oh wait is that a better bow no Six dagger. We got him. We did. We sure did. Nice, nice. Yeah, I feel like I need better arrows. Just me, or I'm the, or am I the only one who looks everything from boxers to shelves? Like you just loot everything? Is that what you're talking about? I think it's clear. Is there a chest up here or something, though? Oh, you know what I should also do? Save. Oh, pay attention to gold values on the armor. That's true, because if they drop stuff that's expensive, like, that's... I haven't checked the, the price of that armor. I think I'm just more concerned if I can... Oh. Oh, this is cool, actually. The elven armor is cool. Yeah, that's worth a decent amount. Oh, oh yeah, that's worth 410. Oh, damn. Elven armor is best until glass, I want to say. What do I have on? I have... Oh, I have red guard stuff. Oh, yeah. I guess I guess this is technically better by a little bit. The stuff I have on. Yeah, I like the light armor for sneaking because we're quiet. Silence. Do not pursue me, sir. 
You are most useful, but do not presume. We have other informants who are less offensive. But what was no that? No one else has brought you such valuable information, have they? Spirit, please. <sighs> not what it looks like. It's not what it looks like. Oh, I'm level ten. Double digits. I didn't realize we needed to just kill people in there. Sneak yet? No, we need 40. Close. Noise from armor. Wait, do I I don't think I need that if I'm using light armor, right? Ooh, wait, what a What about What about? Not alchemy. Uh archery. Donde. Oh here it is. Oh, that's 40. Okay, that I've been really into. 10% chance of a critical hit that does extra damage? Yeah. Why not? Oh. Thank you, sequins. You could use it to wear more protective armor. That is actually true. I might... I might do that for the next one. Because if we, if we get... <gasps> Please tell me the tree is blocking me. Ha, found you. What the... I'll kill you. I swear it. No, you won't. These sweet rolls are making me want something nice. I'm sure I heard something. How do I like backstab him? I started watching the Skyrim VODs last night and my boyfriend was so excited to watch with me because it's his favorite. Oh, nice. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Well, hopefully you did. Oh, I didn't really go in here that quick. Else. Don't you think I'd have told you already? Silence. You know the rules. Do not speak unless spoken to. Master Rolandil will ask questions. Let's begin again. No, for pity's you know sake. Rules. I've already told you everything. No! Start at the beginning, as usual. I kind of want to listen to this, if but... If you persist no, in this wait. stubbornness, I I'll have... I was catching my breath. Why wouldn't I tell you again? I, I don't even know anything. There's an old man. He lives in Riften. He could be this Esbon you're looking for, but I don't know. He's old and seemed kind of crazy. That's all I know. 
And his name is? I don't know his name. Like I've already told you a hundred. <laughs> God, no! You can't hide from You're me. You're dead. No! No! Oh. Girl, what? Death is the only way out of your misery. What in the portal ass bitch? Oh That's the best you can do. No, it's not. Don't do that. Teach you to mess with me. Maybe we don't kill him. Please, I don't know anything else. Don't you think I'd have told you already? Silence, you know the rules. Do not speak unless spoken to. Master Rolandil will ask the questions. Let's begin again. No, for pity's you know sake. The rules. I've already told you everything. No! Start at the beginning. Never should have. Behold the future! Behold the poor! Hold on, hold on, we got this, we got this. What in the elemental is that? I don't think I can attack someone from behind if they're sitting. Or can I? Oh yeah, yeah, Alex helped. Um, we got some stuff fixed. I can? Yeah, Alex was very helpful. Stop, please. I she was great. Anything else. Don't you think I'd have told you already? Silence. You know the rules. Do not speak in the Oh, I just need to be Oh. Spoken to. Master Rolandil will ask the questions. Let's begin again. No, for pity's You know the sake. rules. I've already told you everything. No. Start at the beginning. As usual. If you persist, no, how do I? I'll have catching my breath. Someone else is using this. I tried to sit. I, I don't even know anything. There's an old man. He lives in. He's old and You are but a dog, and I am the master. No, 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 no. Where are you? Why there's 80 people here? Oh. No, not this being the auto save shit on my That's what we want. No, it's not. Um, ahem. This one? I've had enough of you. Yeah. All right, we got to we got to we got to We gotta hide outside. Shit. You can't see me. You can't see me. I'm hiding. You think I'm safe? You can't hide from me. You can't hide from me. Oh my god. I won't hold 
Oh, now he's running. Okay, hold. Prepare to die. Oh, good lord above. Yeah, I won't hold back ones away. Ooh. Okay. Um. Search for information about the dragons returning. We still need to go in there and search more. I think I fucked that up. find your way out of this one this one or oh, wait no wasn't it downstairs oh wait what's this killing before you're killed I didn't I feel like we came across that book Save? That's true, I should actually. Okay. How do you think crouching stealth damage works with bows? Um, I don't, I, I don't know. Oh, you know what? I can take those arrows. Oh, it was through here. No, wait, was it this way? No, it was not, but I'll take those. Yeah, I think it does double damage or something. It definitely does. It, that's what it said, I think. <gasps> oh, wait. Oh, I thought this. Oh, no, we looked in here already. Hold on now. A lock pick. Oh, because we couldn't take lock picks in. That's right. Okay. Uh, I crouch when shooting with bows and would crouch in battle situations. Oh, I see. I mean, yeah, if you're staying constantly crouched, wouldn't that, I guess, be good? If it does double damage. Okay, hold on. Was it downstairs? I'm running around in circles to get back to those guys that were like the prisoner. I thought it was in here. Oh, wait. Oh, no, it's down here, I think. No, it's not. I think it was here and then...
Oh, I think it was this. I'm just gonna quick save. Is that to me? Me or the it must be. Are they fighting each other? Something's killing the storm. Guy. Oh. Okay. Could be skeevers or something else. I'm saving. you i don't know anything else about it i'm a good guy i'm not here to torture you what who what what do you want then no time to explain let's get out of here free him <gasps> okay yeah sure uh, okay come on this way i've seen the guards use it to get rid of bodies it must lead somewhere he might be rich you go ahead, I'm not done here. Hold on, you may you may know something important. Who are you? What are you doing here? They grabbed me in Riften. They seem to think I know something. They just kept asking me the same damn questions. Hmm. I damn well hope so. If it helps you twist them up, I'm glad to help. They're after some old guy named Esburn. Something to do with dragons. Hmm. I gathered hmm. it from listening to them talk when they thought I was out. I've seen a guy in Riften who they seem to think is him. Not much to go on. I don't even know where he lives or his name, but they seem pretty excited about it. That's it. Now, let's get out of here. <gasps> Someone's here. No problem. Thanks for springing me. I owe you. Look me up in Riften if you make it out. You're trapped in here, and we have your accomplice. Surrender immediately, or you both die. Never mind. Silence, I'm traitor. dead already. Move slowly. I wanted to search more. That's why I said go on without me. Um. Oh, a key. Named Idjbol. What? Oh my God! What is this? He's got to be here somewhere. Oh, there's another prisoner. Auto saving. Ah! Oh, you. What was that? Death is the. Op Never should have ah! come here. Found you. They're literally zero help. Oh, we're so... It's so... It's over. You wish to defeat me? 
It's fine, it's fine. Totally fine. Where did I just get thrown in back? Enough! What was that? Never should have come here. Elven supremacy dies the best in you. Truth. You win. I said. Should... Oh. Hold. I think we can win this. I end your miserable life. We got this, we got this. Nice, 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 nice. Nice. Okay. Trapdoor key. Yes. That's what we needed. We got lots of keys now. Whole lot of keys. Do they got expensive stuff? Kind of. Did they just call us a dog or a cat? Th they did call. They called somebody a dog. Hello. Oh, oh she's got stuff. Oh, this is the. This is the person. This is the person who got stuck down here for for being um doing nothing. You gotta help me, please. Oh, we're thanks. freeing her. I don't understand what's happening. I can't stay here. What will I do now? <laughs> we gotta free her. Wait. Oh. Hello. Hey. Something, something. Th. Why I don't feel like copy pasting today. <laughs> Sorry. Hi. Thank you for the hundred bits. <clears throat> um, this guy died in a very interesting position. Is he? Oh, Malborn died. <gasps> oh, ew. Um. I don't want to hold him. Drop, drop it, drop it, drop it. Oh my god! I fixed him, and now he's sleeping. There was an expert chest somewhere, and now I can't remember where that was. Not that we're gonna get that first try or not, but we have a lockpick now. Does anybody remember where that was? The Reeking Cave. Yeah, he he was he was nice letting us in here. Leading us here. Oh, I wonder if he can get someone else put in there too. up with his foot. Okay, let's go in there. Yeah, I killed all these people. <gasps> We're rescuing the prisoners. this thing no come back oh, fuck. Fuck. oh my god it's got a billion health these are the ones that regain their their health pretty quick a lot though oh yeah because it, it like slows them down a little bit i think well that's a good staff 
Oh. Uh oh. This isn't good. I think I'm auto saving really good. Oh, quick saving, I mean. One of these was fire, I thought. Flames, oh yeah, four. Oh, you can't fit over here? Oh, the guy's over there hiding. Hold. What in the? Hold. This this man must be impossible to beat. I mean, I have to probably spray him with this a few times. Hmm. Yeah, they regen super quick, and I think they hit really hard, too. Hold on. Do I have, like... <sighs> yeah, this one's better than I think nothing. Oh, it's nothing. Uh, I'll just put it on six. Maybe you were when to just like, oh yeah, get me the f out of here, man. I think we just gotta go. I think we're sick that entire uh, weekend. Where's Delphine? Oh, recover my equipment? That's at Riverwood, right? You didn't have to help me, so thanks. Yep. Oh, okay. Oh, who the fuck is this? Oh, Lydia's back. I wonder where the girl went. Oh wait, it's I'm still in the Thalmor embassy. Oops. Uh. Oh, wants me to go back to Riverwood. Okay, cool. Because that's where our stuff is anyway. Lydia is back. Oh, hello. Oh, it's raining. It's raining. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. The mailman. Your hands only. Oh. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Bye. Mr. Mailman. Okay, items. Oh, we got a lot of stuff, I feel like, from the embassy. Mail is so cool. Here's our mail that never fails. It makes me want to wag a tail. When there's something, then go to the mail. You're doing the main quest kind of quick? The game might expect you to have a different equipment. Yeah, that's what I'm... Like, those guys were kind of difficult to deal with. Maybe we should be doing a little bit more of the side stuff so we can get a little bit higher level. 
Um, let's look at what did, I don't even know what I got. Anonymous letter. No, we know that one. Uh, this one we haven't seen. First, a mystery, Ellen Wynn. We uh, anticipate a breakthrough in our efforts to uncover the party or power behind the dragon resurrection phenomenon. Uh, an informant has identified a possible lead whom we have brought back to the embassy for a full interrogation. The subject is uh, obstinate, but by all indications is holding back the information we seek. I have authorized intermediate uh, manual uncoiling. I do not expect more will be necessary unless you feel time presses. I know you prefer to be present for the final questioning. I will inform you immediately when the subject is fully receptive. Two days should tell the tale. In the meantime, if you wish to audit our technique, your expertise is welcome as always. I have placed prisoner in the cell uh, closet to your office stairs. In the cell closest to your office stairs for your convenience. Ooh, we took that guy out. Warriors challenge? Is, is that a quest I have? Hi, Jordan. Welcome in. Y'all mind if I hang out here to sleep? Nope. Lots of people do. The bottom note? Oh, that's the one we just got. I see. Okay. Elowen, first emissary of the Aldmeria Dominion to the Kingdom of Skyrim. I read ahead. Request the pleasure of the company of Cat. <laughs> At the reception on 17 Heart Fire 201 at the Ambassador's Residence. Regrets only for formal attire requested. We didn't see that yet. Oh, we can learn that. Nice. Delphine. Oh, wait, wait, what is this? Thalmor Dossier? What, what, what does Dossier mean? Ramen time? Oh, I kind of want a snack. It's just a folder. And this is a folder on Delphine. Okay, I see. Hold on. Before we read this, I have to pee. I might grab a snack. So we get to learn about Delphine, who's the person we're working with. Esburn. And the Ulfric. Oh, I'm actually really curious about these guys. I'm curious about the relationship between Thalmor and Delphine. Do we do we know the relationship? With Thalmor versus Delphine right now. Because that's a, a town or a people, right? Versus a person. Not yet. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so her status is active. High priority. A mystery level approval. Description. Female. Breton. Mid-50s. Background. Delphine was a high priority target during the first war. For both operational and political reasons. She was directly involved in several of the most damaging operations carried out by the blades within the Dominion. She had been identified and was slated for the initial purge, but by bad luck was recalled to Cyrodiil just before the outbreak of host uh, hostilities? hostilities. During the war, she evaded three attempts on her life. In one case, killing an entire assassination. Oh, good for her team. Since then, we have only indirect evidence of her movements, as she has proven extremely alert to our surveillance. She should be considered very dangerous, and no move against her should be made without overwhelming force and the most careful preparation. Oh. Also, Cheese, thank you for gifting this up to Susie. I don't think I said thank you. So thank you. Cooter, what the hell did I just read? Operational notes, she is believed to still be working actively against us within Skyrim, although we have no location on her. Assumed to be working alone, as no other blades are known to be active in Skyrim. And she has in the past avoided contact with other fugitive blades for her own security. So we know blades are the people who are like on the hunt for Dragonborn, or that's one of the things they do. I guess she's like one of the last people. I don't know. One of the reasons she has so far evaded elimination. Her continued existence is an affront to all of us. Any information on her whereabouts or activities should be immediately forwarded to the third emissary. Emissary. Is that how you pr pronounce that? Emissary? 
Where's an emissary? Hmm. Your wife is mad because y'all got me laughing and I should be asleep? Oh no. Y'all, Max is new here. They're in for a treat, unfortunately. I wish I could say it's not normally like this, but it's chaotic sometimes. I could be fully fledged into the game and then you guys are in your own world talking about everything. Your husband is behind you snoring. Nice. We gotta be quiet. Cut. <laughs> You're new to streams, period? Oh, okay. Okay. Now, have we met Esburn? I can't put a face to them. Okay. But Esburn is the. Oh, what happened to Esburn? He's an old guy. Um, the status of Esburn is fugitive. Capture him only. Highest priority. Emissary level approval. Male, Nord, late 70s. Oh, I think this guy is the one that they were saying is, in, is, is uh, the reasoning behind the dragons or something. So this is actually pretty important. Background. Esburn was one of the Blade's lore masters prior to the first war against the Empire. He was not a field agent, but is now believed to have been uh, behind some of the most damaging operations carried out by the Blades during the pre-war years, including the Falinesti Incident and the breach of the Blue River Prison. His file had remained dormant for many years, an excusable error on the part of my predecessor who has been called or recalled to Eleanor for punishment and re-education. In the erroneous belief that he was unlikely to pose a threat due to his advanced age and lack of field experience, a, sal a solitary reminder to all operational levers levels that no blades agent should be considered low priority for any reason. All are to be found and justice exacted upon them. Operational notes. We are still in the dark as to the cause and meaning of the return of the dragons. I have made capturing Esburn our top priority as he is known to be one of the experts in the dragon lore for the blades or of the blades. Regrettably, we have yet to match their expertise on the subject of dragons, which was derived from their Akaviri origins and is still far superior to our own, which remains largely theoretical. The archives of Cloud Ruler Temple, which is believed to have been the primary repository of the oldest blade's lore, were largely destroyed during the siege. And although great efforts have been made or has been made to reconstruct what was lost, it now appears that most of the records related to dragons were either removed or destroyed prior to our attack. Thus, as been remains our best opportunity to learn how and why the dragons have returned. It cannot be ruled out that the blades themselves are somehow connected to the dragon's return. We have recently obtained solid information that Esburn is still alive and hiding somewhere in Riften. Interrogation of a possible eyewitness is ongoing. Anon! Thank you for gifting us up to Max. Um... We must proceed carefully to avoid Esbern becoming alerted for his danger. If he is indeed in Riften, he must not be given an opportunity to flee. Cool. I want to know what he's got to say about the dragons. Oh, we want to. I want to learn about Ulfric. Oh, I can just straight up teleport my pet. That's sweet. I like the animations of this. Are the animations of these powers vanilla? Some. You there. 
Drac. The Dawn Guard is looking for anyone willing to fight against the growing vampire menace. What do you say? What the hell? Vampires? We're vampire hunters. We search out and destroy those blood-sucking scum wherever we find them. Mm, I haven't noticed any vampire. You're not paying attention then, like almost everyone else around here. Oh my god. Haven't you heard that the Hall of the Vigilance was destroyed by vampires? They never took the threat seriously, and now they've paid the price. Uh-oh. What are you talking about? The Vigilance mostly hunt down Daedra worshippers, which is why they got torn to pieces when they went up against vampires. <gasps> That's why our leader, Ezron, is re-establishing the Dawn Guard. Real serious vampire hunters. Yeah. Ha! <laughs> huh. Ezron's going to like you. Go talk to him at Fort Dawn Guard, southeast of Riften. He'll decide if you're Dawn Guard material. Dawn Guard material? Alright, well, that's a fun little side quest. Edward's in this game? Eddie? By sure. What do you want? Hmm. I've never gotten the cooter, huh? Or the most famous cooter, what did I just read? I'm a saint. No. Yeah, I've definitely never said any of that. Oh, it's the main DLC quest. Do, but you only unlock it after Let me know if you want anything. the um, embassy's bit? Is somewhere. that what it is? Where's your lady? Oh, she's down here. Oh, hi, Mama. I read all about you. you. Made it out alive, at least. Your gear is safe in my room, as promised. Okay. Did you learn anything useful? The Thalmor know. Uh, the Thalmor know nothing about the dragons. Really? That seems hard to believe. You're sure about that? Are you sure about that? Why did you send me if you weren't going to believe me? Oh. I'm, I'm actually curious what she'd say to that. You're right, you're right. I just... I was sure it must have been them. If not the Thalmor, who? Or what? The Thalmor are looking for someone named Esbern. Esbern? He's alive? Mm. I thought the Thalmor must have got him years ago. That crazy old man. Figures the Thalmor would be on his trail, though, if they were trying to find out what's going on with the dragons. <laughs> the guy singing in the background is just time that you lie down and bleed. So then came clashing and slashing of steel. Once that guy talks to you, the DLC is unlocked. Ah, I see. Okay. Only happens after level ten. Ah, okay. We're missing a concert upstairs, I know. Nice. Well, thanks for your uh you know. You mean aside from wanting to kill every blade they can lay their hands on? Esburn was one of the blade's archivists back before the Thalmor smashed us during the Great War. Mm -hmm, we read about that. He knew everything about the ancient dragon lore of the Blades. Obsessed with it, really. Nobody paid much attention back then. I guess he wasn't as crazy as we all thought. So the Thalmor thinks the Blades know about the dragons. Ironic, right? The old enemies assumed that every calamity must be a plot by the other side. Even so, we've got to find Esbern before they do. He'll know how to stop the dragons if anybody does. Do they know where he is? They seem to think he's hiding out in Riften. Riften, eh? Probably down in the Ratway, then. It's where I go. <laughs> the Ratway. You'd better get to Riften. Talk to Brynjolf. He's well-connected. A good starting point, at least. Oh, and when you find Esbern, if you think I'm paranoid, you may have some trouble getting him to trust you. Just ask him where he was on the 30th of Frostfall. He'll know what it means. Is that the is it a code word? Oh, these are all does she have more dialogue? Because I've already passed her these. The blades have always guarded and guided the Dragonborn, but we'd forgotten why. Now our purpose is clear. I can't know I don't remember before I'm this. All that's left of the blades, and you're the Dragonborn. Together, we're going to stop these dragons if we have to put every last one of them back in the ground. Oh, no, I think this is different, right? This seems different. Love, Riften? What happened to the blades? Why are you on the run? I, f I feel like we've asked this. The Thalmor happened. 
They've been hunting down every blade they can find for the past 30 years. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thanks to the White Gold Concordat, they've been able to operate throughout the Empire with impunity. White Gold? What's that? The Great War. Only 30 years passed in already ancient history to most people. Seems to me like it just ended. Hmm. It's never really ended for me. Aww. But to answer your question, the White Gold Concordat was the fancy name they put on the peace treaty between the Empire and the Thalmor. Oh. It ended the war and saved the Empire to fight another day. It also trampled on the sacred name of Talos and gave the Thalmor free reign to stamp out Talos' worship throughout the Empire. Who are the Thalmor? Hmm. There's no simple answer to that. Okay. You want the long version or the short version? Always take the long version. <clears throat> I'm going to click long. But only because I want to hear the lore. Thank you, Lee. They're the rulers of the Aldmeri Dominion, what used to be the imperial provinces of Somerset Isle and Valenwood. The Thalmor take yes, the arrogance of high to the extreme. They believe they are the rightful rulers of all of Tamriel. For a century or more, the Thalmor had been picking away at the Empire. Valenwood was the first, then the province of elsewhere. But even the Blades didn't see the Great War coming. We underestimated the Thalmor, and they destroyed us. I want to see what you said for the, the short version. The Thalmor happened. Thanks to the White Gold Concordat, they've been able to operate throughout the Empire with impunity. Oh. Why does the Empire allow the Thalmor free reign? Part of the cost of peace. Oh, okay. Emperor Titus Mead saved his empire at a very high price. A price that included the blades. The Nords didn't like the peace treaty much either. Thirty years later, the Empire ends up with the Stormcloak Rebellion on its hands. No doubt exactly as the Thalmor intended. Oh, oh wait. Hmm. There's no yeah, okay, this is I wanted to see what the short version you was. Want the long version or the short version? Give it to me. Short. They're the high elves that rule the Eldmeri Dominion. Sworn enemies of the Empire and everything it stands for. Thirty years ago, they invaded the Empire and came close to destroying it. They smashed the blades. Smash. Since then, they've been working to weaken the Empire any way they can. Oh! Lydia scared me. Stop it. Lydia, move! Move, move. So I talked to Alfred. Alfred, move. Down. We got this. Is I'm just a cook, lass. Staunch protectors. Ooh, any bounty work I can help with? Of course. It's all in this note. Let's say oh, does he got more time. new stuff for sale? Is that why that's like that? Cat. Oh, wait, void salts. Maybe I should be. Those are expensive. Wait, let me do a cheeky little quick save real quick. Because I don't know if I've ate this yet. Weakness, shock. Good okay. morning. What if those seven? Good morning. Hi. Okay. Um. Y'all, I feel like, cause someone, someone mentioned earlier, like, you're getting pretty far in the main quests. Meaning that, like, we probably should be a higher level right now. So we should probably do some of the side missions, right? Level up a bit. I feel like that would be wise. Because I still have a real big poo-poo bow. It ain't Skyrim unless you're getting lost in the side quest sauce. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's true. Or just exploring in dungeon crawling. Exactly. Because we need to find some really nice stuff. 
um this is a question i feel like i should have asked near the start of the game but there's no durability to your weapons right like you when you have it you have it forever or it is there durability correct sweet <clears throat> a cornered rat okay so <laughs> the rat quest is our new main quest right Dawn Guard. And that is the Dawn Guard one the DLC? That's the one we just accept, I think. Accepted. Okay. So no Dawn Guard, no rat quest for a little bit. Um I think this one might be good. Captain Veleth explained that the Ash Spawn has been attacking Raven Rock for some time now. And he's been trying to locate their source. His lack of manpower and reluctance to leave the town without a commander are keeping him from finding out more. As a result of our conversation, I've agreed to help him deal with the situation. I need to begin by searching the Atticus farm for clues that might lead me to the Ash Spawn's source. Okay, cool. So where the hell do I go? Search the Atticus farm for clues. But donde esta? Oh, the farm's gonna have this little picture. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, find location. Oh, hot. Shit. You can't, oh, filter. Farm. Oh, we haven't been there. Wait. Oh. Shit. So, do I have to go? Oh, that's cool. Um, hold on here. Hold on here. So, Raven, is it, would it maybe it is it near Raven Rock? Oh, yeah, we haven't been to Raven Rock. Yeah, Frozen. I I assumed so. Oh, it's in. Oh wait, no. But Bob, so the Solstheim one, like that's DLC too, right? So this is a DLC quest. I'm literally reading right now. Correct. March of the Dead. Okay, we 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 back burner that as well. I didn't realize that that was DLC. Casey, thank you for the brand new sub. Thank you, thank you. Okay, Dragonborn, investigate the shrine. This, this, sounds good. No, it doesn't. That's also a DLC, isn't it? Fuck, okay. Uh, This doesn't look like DLC. Oh, we gotta go back to the top of the mountain? I can just fast travel there, yes. Amazing. Also, Casey, thank you for the, the the brand new sub and you just followed. Thank you for the immediate sub. That's very nice. Uh, Max, I don't know. Uh, it might be. I'm not sure. I bought the anniversary edition and it, I think it just came with the DLC. So. Je ne sais pas. Maybe the miscellaneous quests. Oh, that too I could do. Yeah. You downloaded Skyrim yesterday and I'm going to start my first playthrough. Do I play vanilla or copy Julius mods? <sighs> you could try it vanilla and then just add on mods. I guess it's, uh, it's up to you. Bori. Sorry to bore you, Bori, but what are you doing? Oh yeah, they don't talk. I forgot. Oh. Look at them like meditating kinda. Nice. Ah. You've retrieved the horn of Jorgen Runko. Well done. You have now passed all the trials. Come with me. 
It is time for us to recognize you formally as Dragonborn. Oh, I haven't even gotten my official title yet. POV, you're about to be Dragonborn. Officially. I would try vanilla a bit to see if your computer can handle. That's true, yeah. You are ready to learn the final word of unrelenting force. Oh! Down, which means push. Down. We're learning the final word. With all three words together, this shout is much more powerful. speak to you. Stand between us and prepare yourself. Few can withstand the unbridled voice of the Greybeard, but you are ready. Nice. Oh, whoa, whoa, we... You guys getting all this? You have tasted the voice of the graybeards and passed through unscathed. What does Dova Keen translate to? Did they say? So I can do my thing now? Nice. She falls on my root till I die. Wagon born officially. Cool. Um, maybe this one next? I don't need to do anything else. I don't think on this mountain, right? I think we're done. Nice cat. For the moment, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, well, I'm assuming we'll definitely have to come back here. Okay. Oh, there's my horse. Hello. Um, so the rising dead. Investigate the ritual site. Helgen. We're going to Helgen. Use a chest in the front, it's the best. You got so much loot from there. Um. I think I looked in it and there was nothing. Oh, pretty. Like right when we got here. Yeah, it's empty. Maybe it's only in there some sometimes? What did Mel say? Mel! Oh, nice. 
Um, okay, we gotta head south. This way. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Brit. <clears throat> <laughs> you and doggy all of a sudden. <laughs> of course Spock summons that horoscope for you. I'm so sorry. Okay. Oh, we need to go straight, I think. But what's this about? Who's here? I can't tell if friends or foes. I'm gonna walk in. Fuck me. No, 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 get nobody. Lydia. God fucking damn it. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, these people are so easy. Oh, good. Okay, that gives me confidence. Yeah, these ones are close to our level, so it's not going to feel like a effing, you know. Oh my gosh, she's spread. I mean that in a respectful way. Wow. I, I, I know that that's redundant to just look after I say respectful, but... Oh, this guy's... This guy's not easy. Oh shit. You're ready to die today, huh? Oh, are, is that sound crit? <gasps> wee 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 wee! Girl, stop. Lydia, get your ass up. No offense. Oh my god, he staggers, kind of. His DPS is... Yeah. Later, nerd. Oh, see ya. I can see ya, see ya. He just got a lot of health. That's a bigger boy. Chop them down like a tree. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck them. Wait, who else is here? Did I loot him? Oh, fuck. Do you guys pick up your arrows that just go into this hand? Or the whatever? Oh, Lydia, Jesus Christ. You always pick them up? Oh, 108! See you later. Dun dun da 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 No arrow gets left behind. <gasps> yeah? Oh, I... Critical strike. On a bear. shot thanks i was going for his head but i got his neck um does anybody know if headshots with an arrow make a difference in this like if i do ooh, that goes into the fort if i do a headshot to the neck versus the head versus the body does it do the same amount of damage Lenny! Lenny, we are mature adults here. How could you?
Cooter, what the hell? Y'all, it is Sunday. Oh. Max, have a good sleep. Thanks for ha hanging and uh, stopping by. Have good veg. There's no placement damage in Skyrim? Oh. Shit, that's good to know. We gotta, we gotta check out this place. Huh? Fuck my ass. Oh my god, that's so dramatic. My arrow did not do that. Yeah, we get to wreck these fools because they're actually our level for once. Okay, I'm so happy to know that we don't need to prioritize headshots. Like, legitimately. Ruined book. Stamina. <sighs> yeah, poor YouTube. women because his woman didn't wait for him Lydia. Let's go. Pirates of the Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean. Pirate King of the Abyssinian. That's pretty much the same thing. Poke out your eyes, lad. Pole in the ears. Those sails portend madness, dark horror, and fear. Abandon your lasses, your ship, and your gold. Blood on the water, you Valheck. This way comes a noose from the riggin'. A plank from aboard. Stew yourself in. Don't try it. Crossing swords. Mercy's not a shipmate among that heartless horde. Blood on the water. The pirate king comes. Stout empire galleon or swift elven skiff. They every one splinter and just as soon sink. But only after crew and captain have their fun. Blood and water. Your days are done. He'll tear your gut and he'll eat your heart raw. His eyes gleam red. His heart will never thaw. Mark well these words, you quaking babes. <laughs> Blood on the water follows Captain Velik Sane. Is that it? That's it. Tell you what, you start running, and I can stab you in the back. Any quaking babes? <clears throat> yeah. Sure. I'll be taking that. Sure. Wait, you know what, y'all? I never got my shit back from Once Her Face. You can't hide from me. Uncommon taste. By the gourmet. Is this smut? 
Wh where's the smut book at that everybody's talking about? I want to read it for science. <clears throat> You'll know it when you see it. So it's not this one. This so this one's about food. Oh. I wonder if this is actually like an, a recipe you could follow. I wonder if it, I'm sure people have tried. Lenny, I hope not. Oh, shit. You can't hide from me. Shh. <gasps> Got your shoulder. I'm level 11. Look at me go, I'm unstoppable. Nasty, nasty human. <gasps> oh, right in the heart. I haven't accepted the mammoth tusk quest. No. What? Why are you saying it like that? Can't imagine that you couldn't try to cook that. Yeah. Goes back downstairs. Is there anything cool in here? Oh, this takes us out? Is someone there? Nope. <laughs> oh, absolute L. What the how is he doing that? Oh. Left to settle down and end the night with some good old clitor some what? What huh? Unbelievable. Where's the other place that had the... Oh, this... Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many have you read, be honest? What? Oh. You guys read Skyrim fanfics? Is that what you're saying? <gasps> oh. Um... This is cool. We up. Oh, uppies, uppies, uppies. Who's she after? Oh, I could have gone up that way. Oops. Oh. Oh, this is a different place. Oh. Feed, feed. Kill him to get some beer every now and then. Stupid bees. Stupid honey. Oh. 
Hey, we need bees to survive. You lying little harlot. What was that? Did you hear something? <gasps> oh my god! <gasps> Lydia, you're fucking blowing my cover. <gasps> Who's there? Over here! That's a big boy! <gasps> Bad idea! Why is this music sounding like Sims a little bit? Like, I'm about to build a house. Oh, I didn't mean to go out that door. Huh? That was smooth, thanks. Did I loot this guy? No. I always assume... That if there's gold on them, I didn't touch it. You, what the heck? Be careful, Lydia. Lydia, it's not always about you. Is there a guy over here? I hear something. I think I hear myself. Epic Sims building. Yeah, exactly. We're not fucking Lydia, no. She's just our bitch. <laughs> I'm not sending mixed messages. No laughing, serious gameplay. Be careful. Is there nothing down here? This feels weird. I don't think I looted a single thing. Any knowers? I know this is pretty early. Oh. Like nothing major? Skyrim is a very, very serious game. Yes, thank you. What is that? Wait, hold. Huh. Like I was expecting something down here. Maybe not. Hi, Adam. Hello. Go up here. Good morning, Mar Maru. <laughs> cacti? But yeah, Cacti, I hope that answered your question. Have we? I think we might have done everything here. Pretty sure this is where I went in. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Still here. <laughs> it didn't. Oh, okay. Oh, will the map say that the lo How do you how do you tell? Also, if you clear a location, will it forever be cleared? Or do, like, NPCs reset, like bad guys, bandits? Oh, Mel, okay, noted. But we haven't gone to Riften yet, so that's a little bit later in the game, right? Oh, they respawn to the scale of our level. 
So we can't tell if it's cleared? Or is there a way to tell? Oh, later it'll say if it's been cleared or not. Thanks, Lydia. I know that. Um, yeah, this way. Thanks for the tip. Lydia didn't ask, but thank you. I also already knew that. be coming. Oh. That's like I have this like snow bank area. Assuming it's something, maybe we go around. Um, I haven't done a quick save recently, so I'll do it right now. But yeah, I just, I guess I rely on auto saves, but quick saving, quick saving is probably much better if I haven't gone inside anyway. Oh, a dungeon respawns after 720 hours of the in-game play time. Oh, wow. That's a lot, actually. Like, a lot, a lot. Maybe I need to go to the top and then just investigate the ritual site. I guess so. That's 30 in-game days. Oh, okay. Hi, frog. Welcome in. Hello. Yeah, we're still going. Yeah, I'm on West Coast. It's only midnight for me. Or, or creeping up to one. Okay. This should be where we gotta go. Pathing looks sick right here. Looks gold. Um. Maybe this way. You appreciate later streams because you're awful at sleep. Yeah. Oh, a zombie! Oh, what the fucking... Ew, man. What the hell? I didn't need that close up. No, I'm all right. Ew. I'm good. Do I need more flesh for anything? Oh god, that went into my... I'm gonna eat it. <gasps> I... 
I just ate a zombie. Oh, my breath is stinky. Yucky. <laughs> Hi, Ethan. Anything that is an ingredient is for brewing potions. But you do have to eat it before you can learn it, right? Wait, wait. Oh, it's over here. Oh, there's a bunch of zombies here. Oops. What Shit. <gasps> Lydia, you stop. We're trying to be fucking stealth, Lydia. Oh, good lord. Way to go, Lydia. Great. A fucking horde of zombies. Lydia, behind you, you ape. That takes care of that. Hyman. Alex. Oh. I just want to loot it, thank you. Should I, I should probably be picking up the flesh for 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 something, right? good for anything but i'll have a few oh who the fuck ass are you also oh no but maybe oh yes i don't know who these guys are apprentice necromancer Ooh, conjure zombie interesting about you anything take eye of saber cat what do you need wait what right here okay got it i just picked up what did i just pick up okay got it what are you talking about okay got it Okay, got it. Still here. Why is she picking my stuff up? Let's get go. I'm right behind you. I am at your command. Huh. Ew. Oh, that did not need to sound that squelchy. You hear that? Unnecessary. Let's get going then. Wait, I need to eat that though. So I need to eat that? Did I just eat it? Was I not supposed to eat that? Is that bad? Should I have not done that? Okay. Um, the Rising Dead read the Necromancer's journal. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. We got that. Okay. Um, third of Sun's Height. 4E201, an apprentice of mine recently discovered an ancient tomb uh tome wait no tomb is t-o-m-w right and then tome is t-o-m-e i don't want to like
like catch myself there. Uh, tome in a forgotten cavern during a gathering expedition. This tome is like nothing I've ever in uh, ever seen in a very long time. I believe it's a conjuration spell of some sort, but I can't be certain. I'll need to spend some time deciphering this. It could be quite valuable to us. 18th of Sun's Height for ETO1. Oh, this is their dating system. Oh, okay. I've spent the last several weeks working tirelessly to decipher this ancient tome. It's just as I suspected. It is indeed a conjuration spell. However, the creature summoned is especially vicious. An undead zombie of wonderfully putrid potency that appears to be much more active in the late night hours. I'm not stopping now. I plan to create an even more powerful version of this spell. As Molog Bowl as my witness, I shall have a zombie horde at my command before long. 15th of last seed for E201. Nothing could have prepared me for the power I am about to wield. The whole of my training has been for this moment. Soon, my apprentices and I shall perform a ritual the likes of which has not been seen in centuries and bring forth an undead army powerful and willing to do my bidding. Its power will radiate across Skyrim, bringing forth waves of undead from the darkness. The time is at hand. So... Did he try to make the army of dead and then they killed him? I'm, I'm kind of curious what kind of happened here. Whole training? Breezy, I'm sorry. Excuse me? Wait. Oh, that's the one we just did. Okay, so we finished that quest. Okay. Read the bounty. Wait, is this the one? Uh, is Bones for, Bones for a Crow is not DLC. Is that correct? The miscellaneous tab? Maybe you should do that. Okay. Recover your equipment. Can I? Yeah, let's go. Rec we never did that. We should do that. Who is asking about that? Probably Mel. Well, they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something. In the old fort near Riften. Might consider mm. joining up myself. Mm. What time is it? 10 p.m. Is the store open? Oh, it is not. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let me know if you want anything. How far away is the mammoth tusk? Or do we don't have it, do we? Oh, wait, this one? Bring one mammoth tusk to Yzolda? Oh my goodness. Getting all this stuff back. Whee! Oh, oh, oh. oh, take all. Shit. Gonna be a little heavy for a second. Lydia. Lydia, move. Move. That's a no. What do you move? Thank you. I need to go sell some stuff. Hello. I'm just a cook. Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, we're pretty uh. I want to know if I've eaten these or not. 
Mm-hmm. We're gonna do the walk of shame over to the general store guy. Ragnar the Red. Oh, there once was a hero named Ragnar. Hello, friend. Who are you? Oh, we were missing Ragnar the Red. Oh, my condolences. It's raining. What is that? Oh, it's a chicken. Is that a chicken? Uh, eating an ingredient shows the top left ingredient effect. Yeah, but my, my question is because you only need to eat it once to learn the the recipe for it <coughs> oh i feel like there would have to be a mod or something oh no i need to change the time mm. I like watching the different times of day. You're new around here, so I'll go easy on you. But don't get on my. Get me mad, and I'll prank you. Shut up. Not a little, a lot. Oh my god. Good to see you. Dude, what a little brat. <laughs> Who is this Camila person? Thank you so Who are much you? For... Ah, good to see you. Take a look. It's in a book. Alrighty. Um, that's his. Uh huh. Okay. Nice. Uh huh. Nice. Hmm. I thought that was kind of cool for aesthetic. <gasps> Ooh, a fur mantle. Gold ring. Eh. Nah. Oh. Oh, he only has 32. I'm, he's got nothing left. I'm glad they tell you about that. Party clothes? Do you guys keep your party clothes or do you sell it? Maybe we'll need it later? Okay, this guy has nothing. Till next time. We milked him dry. Hello, friend. Who are we you? Sell any imports from Somerset Isle, do we, Lucan? I'm afraid not. Well, I was thinking we should. We could stock all kinds of specialty items. You know, cater to some of our more eclectic customers. Dear sister, we talked about this sort of thing before. Oh, she we sell dry goods. More, nothing less. I know, I know. My head's in the clouds again. Just forget I said anything. One thing everyone can agree on. This war is bad for business. Thanks, Lydia. <sighs> oh, everybody around here is so serious. Okay. Whatever you need. Buy you some... Hmm. Blades, helmets, Let's see. pretty much anything to suit your needs. Okay. Oh no, I can't. Oh me, 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 me. No. Okay. Good day. Let me go to my place and empty my pockets and also display that axe that I don't need. Huh? There's a quest that needs party clothes. Basil, is that the one that you get into the embassy for? Or are you, or are you talking about a, an extra one after that? Because I just did that one. Oh, there's our dog. Momo, you're back. I got you a present, Mama. I hope you like it. Grass pod? Gra did you just give me weed? Ooh. 
Where did that go? Oh, it's right here. That girl's stealing. Nice. You missed that stream? It was oh, it was this. It was today. Um, it was from a little bit ago. Okay, I'm going to give him the axe. Oh, I can only place armor. Where's the um? Where's the good old display case? I think it's in the other place. Might be here. Place. Oh, oh, these are very specific. We oh cool oh how collectors wait cool when a weapon plaque is activated it will place your current weapon okay um wait. Why? What? 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 I do not understand. There should be general ones around to place, um, There's, I don't think there's one. I can't activate this. I wonder why I can't. Oh. Try the rags below some of the plaques. Like these things? Oh, I can't do anything with the case. Like those, but elsewhere? <sighs> Interesting. Yeah, I can't put anything in here. I'm not shield weapon. You must have a shield equipped. Why won't you take my axe? I can just drop the item and move it in. Oh. Okay, let's try that. And I just... Oh, shite. I, I hold E, right? Yeah. Oh, shit. No! No, that's not what I meant to do! <coughs> Stunning! We've done it. The Axe of White One probably has a special place in there, you think so? Axe of... White Run. Random weapon plaque. I thought so too, because people were saying it was unique. Wouldn't be there. Sometimes items will fling themselves out of those cases. Oh god. Noted. Yeah, Don got an axe. Not there. Someone's bow. Hmm, maybe not then. Oh my god. Okay. Huh. This is one of the few special weapons. Oh, the one that I had? I almost sold it a couple of times. Why is all this falling off?
Okay, that's fine for now. Cool. Um, well, it is 1 a.m. I think I might pause here and then we'll pick this up either tomorrow night or Tuesday or Wednesday. It depends on what day I take off. Um, tomorrow night, however, after uh, we're done playing with pals, we might cap with Skyrim. Or we could do like Super Mario 64 too. That could be fun. <laughs>